Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to show that the sine of theta all divided by sine theta plus cos theta plus cos theta divided by sine theta minus cos theta is identical to 1 divided by sine squared theta minus cos squared theta for 3 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment then to pause the video and have a go. OK then, welcome back if you had a go. So for this one, what I'm going to want to do is just copy down what we're given. And that is sine theta then divided by sine theta plus cos theta. OK. Plus, and then we've got cos theta. And that's all divided by sine theta minus cos theta. So what is this going to be identical to? Well, I can see that we've got to achieve one term here. And we've got two terms here. And whenever I see that, I always want to put these over a common denominator. Preferably the lowest common multiple of these two values. And that would be sine theta plus cos theta multiplied by sine theta minus cos theta. So we just put that in here, sine theta minus cos theta. OK, so what do we multiply the denominator here by, by to get this denominator? Well, it's sine theta minus cos theta. So I need to multiply the top by the same value. So we've got sine theta multiplied by sine theta minus cos theta. And then we've got the plus, and then I just need to say, what do I multiply this denominator by to get this denominator? And it's sine theta plus cos theta, so I must multiply the top by the same value. So it's going to be plus cos theta multiplied then by sine theta plus cos theta. OK, now we've got that step done, so this is identical to... And what I'd want to do now is just expand out the top. So we're going to get sine theta times sine theta, which is sine squared theta. And then sine theta times minus cos theta is minus sine theta cos theta. Now we go on to cos theta times sine theta. So that's plus cos theta sine theta. And then finally, cos theta times plus cos theta is plus cos squared theta. And all of this is divided by, now if we were to multiply out the denominator here, we've got really what is often referred to as the difference of two squares. We're going to get sine theta times sine theta, which is going to be sine squared theta. But then we're going to have sine theta times minus cos theta, which is minus sine theta cos theta. And then we get plus sine theta cos theta. So those two terms would cancel out. Finally, we have plus cos theta times minus cos theta, which is minus cos squared theta. So we've achieved the denominator. OK, so it's just a question of the numerator now. And I can see that these two terms cancel one another out. OK, giving a zero there. So we've got sine squared theta plus cos squared theta on the top. And this is a well-known identity. You should recognize this, that it comes to 1. So what we've got then is our final answer, 1 then, all divided by sine squared theta minus cos squared theta. OK?